Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad and welcome to Caught Ups by Mo, my YouTube channel. We're back here to introduce a new way to interact with GitOps using AI. Today we're diving into something super exciting. A brand new MCP server from the Acuity team designed to make your life with Argo City a whole lot easier. Now, if you've ever used Argo City, you know it's powerful for GitOps workflows, okay? And now Argo City MCP server act as a bridge between Argo City and natural language interfaces like AI Assistant. Basically, instead of running the bunch of Argo City CLI commands manually or working with it uh, through the web browser, you can now just say or type what you want. And then AI using MCP translate that into exact actions on your Argo City instance. For example, you could say, uh, show me the health status of all apps in production. And the MCP server works behind the scenes to get that info from Argo and show it to you. It's very good. And in short, uh, it's like having an AI-powered copilot sitting next to you while you manage your GitOps workflows. Um, actually, Argo City MCP server has multiple tools. Uh, it, it's able to get the applications, create, update, delete, and sync your applications based on the prompt you provide. It calls one of these tools for you. And also, you're able to manage your resources with Argo City MCP server. So these are the tools of Argo City MCP server. Uh, the GitHub repository of Argo City MCP is this. Uh, the name of the organization is Acuity, and the name of the GitHub repo is Argo City MCP. And if you want to integrate it with your AI assistant, you need to go to this GitHub repository. And here it shows that you're able to integrate it with Cursor or VS Code or uh, Cloud Desktop. And for this video, I'm gonna integrate Argo City MCP server with Cursor, okay? We need to create a file called mcp.json in our project. Let's imagine that you have a project including Argo City resources, and in that location, you create a file called .cursor slash mcp.json. But before doing that, let me click on this link to show you something. Cursor documentation for MCP support. It explains what is MCP, model context protocol. And then if I scroll down, it says that you can place your configuration in two locations, depending on your use case. As you can see here, there is a JSON configuration and we can place this configuration in project level or in global level. If you choose project level, uh, you need to create a file called .cursor slash mcp.json in your project directory. And this allows you to define MCP servers that are only available within that specific project. But if you choose global level, you need to create that file in your home directory. And this makes MCP server available in all your cursor work spaces. For this video, I prefer to use project level. And I'm going to create that file in my project directory to have that MCP just for a specific project, not all projects. Okay, so let's do that. This is the cursor environment, and this is the location of my project where I have an Argo City application and Argo City project. I want to deploy them in my Kubernetes cluster to just show you how to um, to just show you how Argo City MCP server can help us to manage our applications through AI. And as I explained earlier, I prefer to use um, project level configuration in cursor for the MCP configuration. Therefore, I have a directory called .cursor, and here I have a file called mcp.json that I copied from uh, the GitHub repository of MCP server, okay? And here, there are two important environment variables. 
The first one is Argus City based URL. This is the domain name of your Argus City instance. And my domain name for this demo is argusity.codops.io. And another one is Argus City API token. Okay. Um, an API token is like a key that allows the MCB server to access and manage your applications. Okay. This is crucial for tasks like syncing, creating, or deleting applications based on the prompt you provide. Okay. And now there are two main ways to provide this token to Argus City MCP server. First, you can use uh, the token from an existing Argus City account. For, for instance, Argus City has an admin user by default. However, this admin account doesn't have the API capabilities right away due to security reasons. If I get back to my terminal here, I type Argus City account list. You can see that uh, admin account doesn't have the API key capability. Uh, but you can expand the capabilities of admin account using Argus City config map. If I type your CTL, get config map dash and Argus City, you can expand its capabilities through this config map here. But alternatively, you can create a new user within Argus City and assign specific permissions to that user. Once you're done, you can generate an API token for this newly created account. Um, I personally recommend you to not expand the capabilities of admin account. Instead, you can create a new account uh, with the permissions you want to grant to have a better control. Okay, so you will have an account with limited permissions based on the permissions you grant to that newly created account. So now let's create a new account. The first step is adding a data to Argus City config map, uh, something like this. Accounts.mcp equals to API key. MCP is just a name. This is the name of the account I want to create and its capability is API key. So I copy this command and paste it here. So if I type Argus City account list once again, yeah, there is a new account here called MCP and its capabilities API key. I didn't uh, provide login capability for MCP account because I don't want to log in with this account. I just want to use its capability, its API key capability. Okay. And the second, uh, the second step is granting some permissions to this account. And I want to grant three different permissions to MCP account. The first one is this. Um, actually, MCP account will be able to get the applications of demo MCP project. And also, it will be able to sync the applications of demo MCP project. And finally, it will be able to get the applications of default project. It fully depends on you. Okay. But uh, for this demo, I decided to grant these permissions to this newly created account. So to grant these permissions, we need to modify the Argus City RBAC config map here. So I edit this config map here, and we need to modify the policy, the CSV key here. As I said earlier, it fully depends on you to grant the permissions to the newly created account. Very good. So now um, MCP account is able to get the applications of demo MCP project as well as default project. And also it will be able to sync the applications of demo MCP project. It, uh, it won't be able to sync the applications of default project, for example. Um, very good. So now it's time to generate token uh, for the newly created account. And therefore, I type Argus City account generate token dash dash account 
mcp-grpc-web. Very good. This is the token related to MCP account. And I want to use this token in my MCP configuration. So let's get back to cursor. And here I'm going to use this newly created token. Very good. I save it. Uh, if you don't want to use uh, the token of an Argus with the account, the second approach involves creating tokens for specific projects. If you're familiar with Argus City, you definitely know that what is Argus City project. This is something like a container or a folder where we can store your applications, okay? And each project can hold multiple applications, okay? And this is especially useful if you manage multiple projects within Argus City. And by defining roles and policies for each project, you can generate tokens that are scoped to those specific roles. For example, I wrote a project here called demo-mcp. The kind is app project. Okay, this is a project. And this project has a role called get-sync. And it has two different policies. And finally, you can um, create a token for this role, for the role of this project. And the token has some permissions. And the permissions of the token is based on the policies that you define here for this role. If you want to generate a token for this role of this project, you can easily type Argus City um, proj role create dash token. And then you need to type the name of the uh, project. The name of the project is demo-mcp. And then the name of the role. The name of the role is get-sync. And if I type enter, it generates uh, actually a token, which is able to, for example, get the applications of demo-mcp project and also sync the applications of demo-mcp project. So I explain it because... Um, I want to show you that um, it's possible to give the token related of a project, related of a role uh, to Argus City MCP server and, uh, instead of um, using the token of an Argus City account. Okay? These are two main ways. Using uh, the token of an Argus City account or using the token of a role related to a specific project. Okay? So now I want to deploy two different um, Argus City resources in our Kubernetes cluster to just show you how Argus City MCP server can help us to manage our applications. Our application here is using demo-mcp project. So let's get back to the terminal. And here I type ctl apply-f demo project because we need to deploy the project first. And then I type Argo City Proj Role List. Sorry, Proj List. Okay, as you can see here, there are two different projects. The first one is default, which is built in project, and another one is demo MCP that I created. And I want to uh, actually store my Argo City application within demo MCP project. So I type kubectl apply dash f demo application. And I type argus city app list dash dash project demo mcp dash dash grpc dash web. It, uh, it actually returns the applications of demo dash mcp project. As you can see here, there is um, actually an application in this specific project. So now let's get back to the cursor environment and I click on settings and I click on MCP. Yeah, uh, there is a new MCP server here. It's called Gargo City MCP and it's just accessible by the current cursor workspace, by the current project. And it won't be accessible by any other cursor workspaces because we chose a project level configuration instead of global level configuration. And these are the tools related to this MCV server. It's, all, it's able to list applications, get, create, update, delete, and sync. 
applications and also you're able to manage your Argo CD resources using this MCP server. Very good. So let's get back to the project. I use control L to have a chat here and I type um, that uh, please return the health status of all applications within default project. Yeah, first of all, it calls a tool called list underline applications from the MCP server that we added. I click on run tool. And yeah, it returns the health status of all applications that I have in default project. These are the applications in default project. Okay. But uh, if you remember, we actually deployed an application in demo-mcp project. So instead of default project, in this time, I type demo-mcp project. And the health and status of the demo application within demo-mcp project is missing. It means that uh, it's now out of sync and we need to sync this application. So I type sync the demo application. And this time it calls uh, a different tool called sync underline application. And I click on run tool. And yeah, the sync operation for the demo application in the demo MCP project has been initiated. So if we type, please uh, get the health status of all applications within demo MCP project. And this time it, uh, it calls get underline application tool. And yeah, as you can see here, the health status of demo application uh, has been changed from missing to healthy. So we successfully synced our application using AI and using Argus CDM CPU server. It's very, very good. If you want to create applications, delete applications as well, you need to expand the permissions of the account you want to use. If you remember, um, we use an account with get and sync uh, permissions, but you can use different actions like create, update, and delete as different actions to expand the permissions of your account. Okay? So it was about uh, using Argus DMCB server and integrated with a cursor, and um, I showed you how to use Argus City MCB server to manage your applications through UI. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you like it and see you soon.